the inter-counties cross-country race at Wellington Park, Nottingham. This is me finishing the same race. In this video, part two of three about this race weekend, I will go over my race, how it went, up until the point where I uh, exit the park. For part one, before the race, check the description and my channel for more. This is a start in pens as you can see. We're in pen 26, right in the middle, which we were actually happy with. Here's the time we arrived, 10.15. My race was at 12.45. Um, so quite a while to get warmed up, etc. You usually get warmed up an hour before, but I'll go through that in a second. And uh, here's some videos of me entering the park. And what you can see from the center area, just outside of the uh, tented area, the tent forest. I'm going over the walk now. We started about an hour before race start, like I said before. I personally like to do quite a long jog prior to drills, but each is their own. We warmed up in a section surrounded by the course that not many people were on, so that was nice. But we did find a phone on the floor, lost, but we did hand it into registration because of what good citizens we are. And, and this is us waiting for the pens to open. So my actual race, so I'll go over how my race went now. So the start it was rather like a long hill, but the steepness, like the angle of the hill peaked or rose right at the end, uh, as we like curving around to go and come back down. But um, the tactics I'll talk about that now, taken away from last year when I didn't race, but this time it was in somewhere else. It was in, uh, in Loughborough University. When I started quite hard, expecting others to do the same, to go going up an early hill. But they held back a bit and pushed more towards the end of the race. So I started more relaxed. I often to go hard in the last K or so, because I only done 4K. And it worked very well. I felt more energised and strong in the second half of the race compared to last year where I was felt like. Right, so I failed to miss this in the actual video, but so the, we had to do two laps, and then each lap started with a longer hill that also peaked right at the end. So, but when we finished the race, we had to go back up that hill, or it was parallel with the hill where we started on going up. That's the very end of the race to come back down. I felt like I couldn't breathe going down a hill, if you know what I mean. But yeah, it was quite a hard, hard race. I felt like very fatigued and was losing places. This year I was passing people that last bit of the race. So tactics do play a big part, or at least having a mental clarity of what you're planning to do in the race pays off too, so I was in the younger year of under 15 age group, I came 144th out of 285th, 285, so nearly top half, and two years ago in the younger year again, I came 200th, so that's roughly a 60 place improvement, uh, last year in the older year I came 55th I think, so I'm hoping to get that a better place next year then, with that tag that's on there now. This is my race number, I think it was pretty cool, 1234. We finished in the race, 144, like I said before. And this is part two or three. Um, leave a like if you want to see part three. And I'll part one in the comments, preparation. Um, after the race, basically got the hoodie, waited around for taxi, left the park at around half one. This is me in the taxi now. Um, I'll say thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you want to see more, check out my channel. And like to see part three of this series.